Okay, Tatum. You got me. You got me. I've never seen this dog exhibit any aggressive behavior before. Never. She loves people. Oh my God, I can, I can see. You're definitely not the girl I thought I'd be in the tub with, but I'll take what I can get at this point, I guess. And today we have Dog. Came out this year, 2022. Uh, by the trailer, I... Look, the trailer, you watch it and you you know what you're in for. Guy's gonna transport this military PTSD-ridden dog across the country uh, to the, his Matt, former owner's funeral. And, you know, when they first meet up, they, they're not gonna get along. It's gonna be rough around the edges. It's gonna be ups and downs, highs and lows. But by the end, perhaps they find some common ground. They, they, they become friends. And then by the end of it, they can't. They're inseparable. Like, we've seen the story. It's the literal, like, buddy cop comedy or buddy cop drama or, like, the buddy... The two people that are, like, completely opposite. The planes, trains, and automobiles. Like, we've seen this formula. So, in essence, the film is formulaic. And yet, still, it's serviceable and it gets the job done. Here's the funny thing. Dog is directed by two people. Uh, we rarely see this on the channel, but it's a co-directorial gig. And for the first time ever... From Movie Man 101 Productions in the channel, and for what I'm going over in terms of films, I don't even think if I know of any films that are similar to this, maybe the Wachowskis, but directed by two people, it's also each director's directorial debut. Imagine that. We have the star of the show, also the director, turns out, co-director Channing Tatum, who directed this alongside the other director, a Reed Carolyn, if I'm saying that right, both Channing Tatum. Channing, Channing's been an actor for years. Again, fairly household name. We're getting a lot of these these days, a lot of these films. It's people being typecast until I start to go see more indie films. But Channing Tatum and Reed Carolyn, they co-directed this. And the funny thing is, it's their first, like, according to IMDb anyway, this is the first film either of them have officially directed. They've been producers. Um, Channing's friend must be friends with Reed here because Reed's been a producer on both of the previous Magic Mike films and other Channing Tatum endeavors. So clearly they met and were like, hey, you know, it'd be a cool story to make. I don't know the story behind this movie, but I assume that's kind of how it went. It was like, you know, what we should do. And then boom, they did it. So props there. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job. It's a simple story yet effective. Don't get me wrong. This ain't no Marley in me. Like you're not going to be so endeared and you're not going to be sobbing your eyes out by the end of it but dog actually was a pleasant surprise in terms of just overall enjoyment but like for like a lot of the early year films that have been happening so far like i surprisingly in i just it was it was enjoyable like again it wasn't fantastic like i, I want i'm not even sure if i would say it was like a great film but like I wanted to be opposed to watching it again, and there were some interesting concepts and themes uh, brought to life in the film. Channing, good actor. I mean, like, he he's playing the character. It's definitely a character of, like, a bit of a stereotype, and he plays a lot of those. But, like, he plays it well, and, you know, it's just kind of like, I'm sure a lot of it was improv. <laughs> or uh, I'm sure a good portion of it was. This isn't going to be some Oscar-winning cry your eyes out performance here but he gets the job done uh, supporting cast that show up in the film um a lot of it is military based so i don't know if they actually have if they went to the actual barracks and just had real soldiers on camera kind of would explain things because some of the uh, so some of the army people what's not the best word for it, the rangers their some of their dialogue is just kind of very matter of fact and very like boom 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 and i'm like that kind of seems like the way a military type person would talk so that that tracks you know i don't really have any complaints about any of the actors in the film i think everybody did a good job uh dog included whoever the, the dog trainers are handlers wranglers the the dog funny enough old little lulu here she felt like her own character which is good like you want that you don't want to just have it like oh that's the dog and the dog's all over the place like no the dog was handled very well and it felt like you know like oh she's clearly the secondary protagonist here so the journey was well i mean it was again you it was a predictable journey but even though it was predictable there were some like quirks about it that kind of set it set it aside from 
you know, the weed, the weed from the chaff here. There are highlights of the journey. There are moments that were funny. There are moments that were like, you know, a little bit anxiety inducing, that were frustrating, that were sad. But overall, the journey was a, a it was a good journey. And I'm glad I was along for the ride. I like how this film kind of goes more into like, oh, you know, people that are in the military and their dogs. Like, it's not just simple on paper there's layers to it there's you know the the dogs themselves like uh, ptsd injuries like it's not just people but it also shows you it's people like our main character has some like literal battle scars and has some brain trauma because of it so he he is actively suffering and that's why he's having a hard time like in the film trying to get back into the get back in the game because they're not medically clearing him because he's he's he has suffered some like uh, some purple heart worthy stuff and is not cleared for and is suffering because of that. Same thing with our character Lulu here. Is, even though she's a dog, she's also, I mean, you see some like pictures and all that from the uh, the old military scrapbook. Like she took some hits, she's got PTSD, gunshots set her off, you can't really touch her a certain way. Again, trauma. And it's really cool to see that representation of trauma both in humans and dogs and how, you know, there's a lot of similarities there, like a lot of similarities. It never poo-poos in the military. Like I don't have the highest opinions in military in conjunction with the United States, but I do appreciate and respect those who have served rightly and justly. And the people in the film are kind of portrayed in that sense. And the film does a good job of like, in general, it's just kind of just showing like, oh no, there's, here's the, here's the, cause and effect of like what this can do to serve to people that have served in the military and just kind of point that out there aren't any accusatory fingers as some other films might be tempted to do it's just saying oh this shit happens and don't forget like recognize this shit and for some people it gets worse the dog's owner that's dead is dead because of a drunken basically a drunken suicide and that wasn't like while he was enlisted that was after that was after all the war injuries and all the trauma caught up with him and all of this it affects people and it's a shame it's a damn shame that this type of stuff happens so this film while being a nice little ride a road trip buddy comedy sort of sorts with you know some emotional moments and some comedy and levity and all that does a good job of bringing these uh these themes on screen conversation starters basically and just kind of being like hey you know just so you know this shit happens the cons i mean i don't know like i i don't there wasn't a lot of bad with it like i will say i mean some of the some of the comedy was a bit cheesy some of the antics were a bit like you know hijinks antiky and all that like nothing is nothing not any tom and jerry nonsense but i mean i get what they were trying to do with the scene or the series of scenes but there's a bit we're on the way to the destination they stopped in portland and it's just like 10 15 minutes or so of channing tatum trying to get laid and like i get it you bring levity to your film it does play into his character it's not out of character for him to do that but it throws the pace into the film off and it kind of creates some manufactured tension and all that which eventually leads to a a situation with the dog and whatnot. What was cool is that my girl, I knew I recognized her, my girl, uh, Emmy Raver Lantman, Raver Re Lantman, I forget how to say her name. She was in this too. After being in that atrocious film, Blacklight, she comes back in this in a, in a much a much lighter role, but I'm glad to see her showing up and stuff. She's very, she's so pretty and she's, I can tell there's talent there and I want to see her get more roles. So hopefully this is her furthering that foothold that she's trying to get in Hollywood and be in more films so good for her just a little side note dog is definitely a film that you, you you get what you get like you 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 see the trailer and you know what you're gonna get and there aren't any subversions of expectations nothing groundbreaking nothing different or crazy like you know exactly what you're in for and that's like a, a, a good like if anything like a good average film that's kind of taken to just barely above average with some of the themes it chooses to explore, the performances that are given, the uh, the heart that's in the film because you have Lulu the dog as like her own character. By the end of it, I was even crying. I'm not gonna spoil how it ends, but I liked the film, I gotta say. I liked it more than I thought I would. And for a film that you see the trailer and you see the poster for it, you're like, oh, it's gonna be one of those movies. Like, you're right, but at the same time, you're right but it's still not bad like you're right but you know so overall i mean i yeah i don't have a lot to say i didn't make any notes uh for this one in particular because i just kind of that's the gist of the film like there's some qualities that elevate the film in itself but it still just kind of just feels average 
it just is average. I mean, I, I, I guess you could you could stretch and an argument could be made to say it was good. But for me, it was just like, it was an average time. Like, I'd watch it again, but it was average. And for that reason, average score time, uh, just a, a solid, solid, a strong, but a solid 3 out of 5. I would give Dog a 3 out of 5. Would you need to see it in theaters? Uh, no, I don't think you'd need to see it in theaters, but I'd stream it. You could rent it or stream it. I don't know if I would say buy it, but like definitely rent or stream when you get a chance. It's a nice little, it's a family, it's a good little family flick with some like, it's PG-13, so things get a little bit like, ooh, here and there. Like it also does address like other themes of like, you know, profiling, racism, different, I mean, a bunch of different themes are all brought up in this film and they all serve a purpose. They're not just brought up and then just kind of like milled about or like lost focus or anything. No, they, this film, does make use of all just about all the concepts and themes that are brought up so yeah dog is an average watch i recommend enough to to give it a watch if you're interested in a film like that but there are there have been better films this year and i'm sure there will be many better films to come but that's all i have to say thank you guys and gals as always so much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of whatever i review goodbye travelers Thank you.